Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Uh, today, I think we're going to run some vaults. It's been a while since we've done an episode of just running vaults. So that's what we're going to do. Hopefully we'll get some good stuff. I got the first vault crystal ready to go. I did have to make a new Paxel for the vaults. Uh, so this is the new one. It's got a ton of durability, a ton of mining speed, a ton of reach, and uh, almost 40% copiously chance because it's primary. It's used for ores, and that's all it's used for. So I figured we would uh, stack up on copiously as much as we could. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's just jump on in and see if we could run some vaults and get some good loot and stuff. Okay, so it looks like we've got a monolith uh, kill the bosses vault. So, or obelisk, obelisks, I guess, uh, find the obelisks, activate them, kill the bosses, uh, still in the starting room. Looks like this one opens to the north. Oh, look at that. We found one right here. Beautiful. Let's just kill them all. Oh, I triggered mobs and I did not mean to. That one's on me. Oh, I triggered lots of mobs. Okay. This is problematic. I think we're going to be fine, though. Oh, healing. Oh, that's a creeper. That was really close. Yeah, we got him. There we go. Easy enough. Okay, that, that could have been terrible, uh, but it worked out. We're fine. Oh, I need to activate my magnet. Very good. Uh, what is this? Ooh, normal difficulty dungeon. We'll probably check that out in a minute. Because I don't really see a reason not to. And then let's try out the new pickaxe. It does seem to be working quite well. I'm a fan of this. Uh, these little scarabs are not great, though. Uh, <laughs> they're kind of messing with us. Uh, yeah, I think we should probably peek at the dungeon, though. It is normal difficulty level, so I think we'll be okay. Oh, I'm dumb. I forgot to take my potion out, which means it won't work now in the dungeon. Which I I wish that was not the case. Uh, got him. Okay. Oh, that was close. Uh, we're fine. And it looks like it's a coin dungeon, so we should get a decent little chunk of cash from all this, which is quite nice. And actually, yeah, this is like world's smallest dungeon, but it came with a uh, modifier. So this is amazing. Um, ooh, that's actually tough. Thorns damage or health? I think I'm actually going to take thorns damage because I really like having thorns damage on my shield because it kills things for me when I am bad and can't hit anything. Okay, well, I think we probably missed a couple coins here and there because some of them are like up on these shelves. But honestly... I think I'm good with this. Uh, we did, like, quick little dungeon, piece of cake, nothing fancy, uh, gets the job done. So, yeah, I think we're good. On to the next room. If this dungeon seems a little intermittent, it's because I'm also trying to simultaneously train my dog not to bark in videos. <laughs> to varying degrees of success. Uh, got a nice little ore room here, though. Looks like... We'll be able to hopefully take advantage of that new copiously jewel, which is great. Yeah, I'm working on training my dog at the same time. He's still a puppy, so he has a lot. Excuse me. I guess I got creeper from both sides. Uh, you know, the background noise, it's the puppy doing puppy things. He's a big puppy. He's like 10 months old. So, you know, he's not a little puppy anymore, but he's, he he's, you know, still got that puppy energy and... Not a ton of training. We're, we're still working on a lot of that. Okay, I think we got all the ores downstairs. So let's head up. How are we doing on time? 18 minutes? It doesn't feel like we've done a lot, but it's probably because puppy uh, making noises and I keep having to stop to deal with him uh, instead of focusing on the dungeon. But that's okay. You know, it'll be worth it once he's grown up a little bit and he's a fully trained dog and he's a, a good boy. Ooh, we got an old west room. Uh, now, unfortunately, I don't think obelisks and objectives can spawn in these rooms. This is not where I want to be. We got to be real careful of the creepers. And also the fact that uh, we don't have 
our potion. Oh. Yeah, I'm getting beat on. Oh, this is bad. Okay, we're fine. I think we got most of them. Just a couple little stragglers left at this point. Cool, that was a little dicey, but uh, you know what? It, it worked out. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> went through basically all of my mana, but uh, it's okay. We're we're fine. Uh, let's just loot those and this one. Oh, I popped the TNT. Okay, time to go. Uh, we're leaving. <laughs> All right, still no obelisk in this room. Ooh, I do see coin piles over here, though. And since I just made this new tool, I'm a bit low on gold right now from cutting all the gems. But worth it, because this tool should last us a very, very long time. This thing has a ton of durability that I added on, so it should be our tool for, uh, for quite a while. At least until we can get better stuff. So I'm pretty, you know, I, I was thinking about the tool when I was making it. I'm like, you know what? Really all I need is mining speed, reach, durability, and copiously. And that's it. Like, I still wanted to have axing and shoveling and, you know, I, I still wanted to be able to break all the different types of blocks just in case I need to get something out of my way. But still, uh, I, I think this is... Probably the way to go, and we're just gonna leave these guys behind. Um, yeah, I, I'm I'm on a schedule, so you know, like time's a ticking. Uh, and time-wise, we're not doing super great. Ooh, another ore room. I mean, we're only one pizza night ore. You guys told me it's pronounced pizza night. Uh, we're only one pizza night ore away from having this epic bounty completed, which also reminds me, you guys told me that when you have a legendary bounty, uh, you can actually have just a regular bounty as well. You don't need a special like skill for it or anything like that. So that's good to know. I naturally forgot to actually equip a second bounty. Uh, oh, there's our last pizza night or I think. There we go. Okay, well, we got less than 10 minutes left at this point. So I think we should be going. And working on our quest objective. I missed you. Die. Uh, I think we should be working on obelisks at this point. I mean, we've gotten so many gems because we found double ore rooms. Uh, our ore rooms might be more common in this particular biome. I feel like I find them more often. But I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's just my imagination. Well, the sensor didn't give us an obelisk in this room either. So we're moving on. I don't know how many rooms deep we are at this point. Oh, it's Bumbo. Uh, so here's the plan. We're just gonna try and only trigger the spawners inside Bumbo. Cause there are, there's a stupid amount of loot in here. And we're gonna try and only kill you. Uh, or only kill these bad guys. Thankfully, they're not smart enough to climb. He says, as they climb. They're all the way up there. It's fine. It's fine. No big deal. Uh, let's go... up. Take those. Take those. Take you, take you, and you. Okay. Uh, oh, there's more. I guess Bumbo's arms have stuff in them as well. Uh, I don't know how, how I'm feeling about our odds of actually completing this vault at this point. We got six minutes left, and... Uh, not we're we're missing we're still missing two monoliths or obelisks or whatever but maybe if we just zoom through rooms like if we see one great we'll just give like a quick little peek nope nothing okay we got another old west room 
Like, that's cool, but I don't think monoliths can spawn in those rooms. Or obelisks, or whatever. And even if it, even if one can, I don't think that's where we want to fight uh, a ton of enemies. Uh, this is not available to us yet. We'll have to look the old-fashioned way. Uh, I will take a second to grab... No. Ah, well, so much for that. I was going to say, I'll take a second to grab a couple living chests, but, uh, well, it had other ideas. Is there a monolith anywhere? Obelisk anywhere, please? Just, just one? I'm, I'm not loving our chances here, guys. <laughs> it's not going great. Well, we're at three minutes left, and I think at this point... We're kind of at, like, we need to consider just getting out of here mode. Uh, so I'm just going to zoom. And I think, I mean, if we come across an obelisk as we're traveling, like, great. I, I'll give, like, a little peek and just see. But, yeah, I think, uh, I think at this point we need to locate our exit and uh, get out of here in one piece. I did find... Uh, oh, that's that's not another dungeon. Just kidding. It's a, a locked treasure room door, which uh, we do not have the key for. So, okay. I mean, honestly, these uh, obelisk vaults normally aren't too bad, but uh, today they're just being real stingy and not actually showing me any obelisks whatsoever. <laughs> so... Uh, what can you do? Oh, it would help. I must, I got sidetracked. I've been running straight through the rooms that I've already been going through. So, uh, good job, self. Well, the good news is we didn't actually loot the very first room. So this is our chance to do so. Or at least part of it, uh, part of the first room given that we have uh, literally 15 seconds left. So, yeah, let's just... Uh, you know what? We're going to need some Kiwis. Probably not a lot, just like one Kiwi. Should get us out of here. Still, though, not an awful dungeon. Uh, one more Kiwi. There we go. I mean, we didn't complete it, but we did mine a ridiculous amount of ore. Uh, oh, it had Looter's Dream. I didn't even realize. Uh, and we got a ton of coin piles as well, thanks to that one dungeon. So, all things considered, not a terrible vault. Let's take a peek and see what we got for loot. Although, let's actually sleep first. Oh, plus we got that, uh, that new... Uh, gear modifier, the thorns modifier as well, which is nice. Uh, and then in here, we got a bunch of jewels. And then these are empty. Okay, so first off, whole bunch of vault bronze. Over a thousand vault bronze, it looks... Uh, not quite. Well, yeah, no, no, not quite. A little less than a thousand vault bronze. So that's not bad. Uh, that translates to a fair amount of gold, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, nothing else super noteworthy. We got a little bit of Knowledge Essence. We did get 256 Laramar and then some. I'm guessing that probably carried over into our next bag a little bit. Yeah. So tons of Laramar, decent amount of that. 22 Pizza Night, some Xenium, no Echo Gems, unfortunately, but we did alright there on the gem front. So that's not terrible. And then uh, we actually got a relic fragment from somewhere. That's not bad. A little bit of gear. Would have really liked to have that jewel when I was making my uh, new Paxel. <laughs> that's, that's a pretty good copiously jewel, honestly. Uh, okay, some stuff. And then in this one, more jewels. Eh, doesn't look like that one's not bad. That one's pretty good, too. Uh, but yeah, nothing too crazy. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get this all put away, make a new crystal, and then we'll run another one. So I didn't actually realize it, but as I was putting the loot away, uh, I had a, 
a decent number of relic uh, booster packs, and they actually allowed me to complete the dragon relic. So we now have four completed relics. That's a grand total of two full minutes of extra vault time just from having these completed. Uh, we're still missing uh, the Twitch, the Warrior, the Elemental, and th this one that I'm not even going to try to pronounce. Um, so we can actually get an additional two minutes once we get all of those completed, but still, that's uh, super, super good. Uh, very, very happy about that. This uh, that, that vault actually ended up better than I thought it would. So let's go ahead and just make another crystal. Let's see what we need for it. Oh, look at that. It's one of the uh, special ones that takes basically no resources whatsoever. Fantastic. Well, I think we're just going to go ahead and run another vault. Uh, our helmet and our chest plate are both a little bit low in the durability uh, department, but I think they'll probably be okay for one more vault. I hope. <laughs> I don't really want to have them breaking uh, mid-vault, but hey, if it happens, it happens. Uh, and, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so, on to the next one. Let's see what we got for this vault. Okay, we have a snowy vault that is a scavenger vault. Uh, and none of these... Oh, just kidding. We need wizard wands. That's an omega item. Okay, well, this is going to be a little bit annoying. Uh, but I guess we'll just do the best we can. So, opens to the east. Uh, let's just go for it and see what happens. We need all the types of chests, basically, except for gilded chests. And then we need coin piles. Okay. Also, the pottery shards are probably going to be a nightmare, too. And uh, we immediately find... Uh, ores, which are not what we need, but I will still take them because ores are good. Um, okay, looks like it's not actually a proper ore room. It's just a room that had a little bit of ore in it. Okay, more regular chests here. Um, eh. And we're up to... we got one pottery shard. At least it's a start. Pottery shards have, have been kind of like the bane of my existence on these scavenger vaults, because you always need so many of them, and, like, they do drop from the easiest kind of chest to find, but I've just been very unlucky, and uh, I just haven't been getting them. And I know they're not actually supposed to be that rare. They're only... Oh, this is not where I want to be, in, in the middle of these guys. But, this is what we really need, is ornate chests. Because we have the bounty for a wizard wand. And that's going to be probably the hardest part of this, I would think. That's the real value right there of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> of the bullet dash is being able to clear out mobs of the, all these like little trash, uh, the horde mobs, I think they're called, in like one button. You can clear out a whole swarm of them. Saves you a lot of time, honestly, if you're going to be fighting the enemies. Ooh, we actually got two pottery shards from those four chests right there. So that's actually really good for us. That's a decent number, considering it was only a couple of chests, so I'm not complaining at all. I missed. Die. Uh, we don't actually need to kill the enemies at all. Technically, we could just run in and uh, loot the chests. But... I want the soul shards, too, to be fair. Okay, we got some coin piles back here. Not a lot. But, enough to get at least a couple of blood... Ooh, that got us two blood vials. Okay, that gets us uh, pretty close. I think we need five. So, all things considered, that's a nice chunk of our blood vials done. Hopefully, like, two more coin pile... Uh, 
things <laughs> will be enough for it. Okay, I see more coin piles. Oh, hi. Not sure where you all came from, but I do need to heal. Thanks for setting me on fire. Really appreciate that. Okay, I think that got us our last uh, blood vials that we needed. Yeah, we're, we're good on blood vials now. That's good. Ooh, more ornate chests. Uh, any more hiding? Don't think so. Did not get the wand. There's some living chests. This has been a really good room, honestly. As far as giving us the type of loot that we need, or the type of chests or whatever. There's one drowned hide. Okay, we have our drowned hide. Fantastic. Ooh, we'll check that out. If that's a if that's a dungeon that has um, ornate chests, then we're essentially set. So we'll at least look and see what this dungeon has. What do you got? Ah, it's coins. Still, though, probably worth doing. Especially since this is a larger dungeon. Leave me alone, guys. Like, this is a larger dungeon, so there's also a, a reasonable chance we'll find a uh, an archive at the end of it, too. Okay. Well, here's the boss. Okay, so vault magnet, a little bit of vault bronze, some coin piles. Uh, okay, well, unfortunately, no archive at the end. But, I mean, you can never have enough vault coins, so, like, it's fine. This might be a treasure room. Nope. I guess that is not the right key. This tubium one. It's so hard to tell which which door is actually the tubium door. There's been a couple times and I've been like, oh, this looks like the right one. No, nope, it's not. Well, there's about a bazillion D of these horde enemies. Uh, so that's not great. But it's going to be a real good bullet dash for sure. And a lot of soul shards. Uh, you know, we should check. What is my... You know what? Let's pop this. Kill dungeon mobs. Well, that would have been great before I found the dungeon. I don't think that's happening now. Ooh, I just realized we're down to five minutes. Yee. It's a little, uh... A little not great, considering we still don't have our wand, which is going to by far be the hardest part. We're still also only at seven pottery shards, and we need considerably more than that. Um, refills my mana. My mana is essentially full at the moment, so... Oh, I found ornate chests! Doesn't look like they had what we needed. Oh, this is bad. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Run away. Oh, my my bullet dash is not available to me. It's fine. I'm faster than them. This, this is the room I was talking about right here. Okay. Uh, this room, uh, I'm going to get out some kiwis and stuff. Nope, this is not where I want to be. Just kidding. It's not an ornate room. We are leaving. Uh, however, we are under... Th we have 30 seconds. Uh, that's not great. Uh, at this point, we just need to leave. We need to take our loot and get out of here. You know what? All things considered... There's another vault that we survived, and we got a decent amount of loot. So, 226 coin piles mined. 
Uh, was actually enough to level us up as well, which is pretty nice. We got some unspent skill points. No idea what I want to spend those on at the moment, but uh, we'll see. Also, we should really claim this reward that we have uh, not claimed yet. That's from our legendary bounty. And then let's just take a peek. Uh, we, we already know we get stuff there. Uh, okay, so put all this stuff back. Got a little bit of unidentified gear and stuff. Uh, we got an unified distinguished charm. So let's see. 23%. Okay. I don't think that's better. Uh, no, it is not. But let's look at this. Ooh, that's not terrible. 70% resistance, 20 armor. Uh, not quite as good as what I got now. Resistance is not that great. It's the least good of the um, sort of survival uh, buffs, you know, like your your health, armor, and resistance. Resistance is probably the least useful out of all of them, but uh, good movement speed on that. Uh, that's a lot of mining speed. How's that compare to what we got here? Oh, this one has copiously, though. That's way better. Uh, okay. So, hey, you know what? Nothing super great as far as the vault loot goes. Uh, or the, uh, the gear. But, fair amount of money. Uh, we got... Decent amount of knowledge essence, considering we only found a couple of living chests. And then any super good crystals? Ooh, that one's pretty good. Doesn't look like there's much beyond that, though. And then these were from the, the legendary bounty. So let's do this. Let's put all of uh, this stuff back into here for now. Uh, we'll throw you into, we'll throw you into my backpack. Thank you. And then I just want to see, we actually have a few more of these lost bounties. So, now that we have completed one, let's go ahead and do that. We've got a legendary bounty here. Kill assassin mobs. That one will be really easy, actually. Uh, we get an artifact fragment, a little bit of vault gold, uh, living. Okay, yeah, this is all. This is fine, uh, and a pretty significant chunk of vault XP as well. Uh, and then we can also activate another one of these as well. So let's see. We've got. Ooh, that one's probably the way to go, just for echo gems, because echo gems are so rare. The rest of this is whatever, but silver scrap should be pretty easy to get. Um, like, we got 78 of it. <laughs> and it's found in wooden chests. So yeah, that'll be really easy to do. That's like one volt, easily. Uh, but yeah, not too bad. Uh, so now I need to repair my gear and put all of this stuff away. So I had three Relic Booster Packs, and um, I opened them, and I got this Relic. And I think we now have all five pieces. Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe I'm still missing one. That was definitely a new one, though. One, two... Uh, yeah, you know what? I think I'm still missing one more. Oh, we're so close. Which one are we missing for this? This one up here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, never mind. I was going to say, I thought we completed another relic, but I was mistaken. We did not. Still, we're only one away from that now. I think we're now one away from basically all the ones that we have left. 
because we've done we we need warrior. We're only missing uh, the sword. We need this one. We only need the upper right piece. The twitch one. Uh, I think we're just missing the rainbow heart, and the elemental one. I think we're just missing uh, the wind or the heart. One or the other. Um, both actually. Okay, so we're two away from there. But yeah, I mean, we're we're, still, we're getting there. Things are happening. Uh, but anyway, got all that stuff all put away. Uh, we identified the um, the gear already. So that's not an issue. Uh, but yeah, guys, I think that is going to do it for today's episode. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below. So check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.